so destroyer 2009 finally spoke back he had an interview with the guys from TechCrunch. you can check the article in the description if you want to read the full article but yeah he had some interesting things to say he said that he didn't want to harm anybody and did this just for fun and also to push the devs from apex to fix the things because he said he knows the apex devs can patch that but they won't do it so yeah he said he wanted practically to push their hands on doing that so yeah i don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea he said he did all of this just for fun he didn't want to harm anybody the casual player doesn't have to worry about anything because he will not harm you honestly you can't trust him 100 but i personally believe him but yeah i will let you see pyros of third take on this he responds to everything this royal 2009 hands to say and personally i think pyros software has some interesting things to say so yeah i will listen to him the hackers themselves claim that they did not install harmful malware on the affected streamers pcs now that's an interesting one the hackers themselves claim that they did not install harmful malware on the affected streamers pcs if they didn't do harmful malware one of the things that i was thinking of very early on you had one player that had a, a ui element pop up right you had another player that didn't have a ui element pop up but the one player that had the ui element pop up where it's like the whole menu it said vote putin on it because they had put an extra joke in there i'm wondering if that whole thing was just a joke image where that's not even a real image he popped it up to make the streamer look bad if that makes yeah. sense yeah this is interesting virus is bad harmful and one can easily get in trouble because of them no viruses will be uploaded for usual players and streamers we are jokers not clowns <laughs> good I, I love that quote we are jokers <laughs> not clowns line. that's yeah. that's a funny line tonight we made quite a you know in apex hope you guys managed to check it out if anyone is interested okay so no viruses in that case no viruses is what they're claiming uh, the, the way that i always feel about it is when a target when an enemy an opponent is making a claim you can't believe it out of hand you know what they're saying but it doesn't mean it's true they're your opponent that's the point and to believe it out of hand is fine. We'll put that in a, a potential. They said no viruses, right? But now we have to prove that claim. We have to prove that right. they're not using malware of any kind. We have to prove they're not using a virus or anything like that. But they've made the claim. So it sits over there in the corner. It's like, cool, you said that. You know, in Maltego, I'd usually just pop it up into like a node. Let's look at the second link. I spoke to the hacker behind Apex Legends hacks. But yeah, with this, the thing that's really interesting about this is, you know, he says he did it just for fun. We already knew that. Like, if, if you watched any of the videos that you had seen of this guy, uh, it was very clear he was doing it, like, for the lols. Normal basic shit that you ever see. He was a player of the game, he wanted to get better at the game, and he wanted to hack the game, and then, you know, he found ways to mess with people, and he just plays pranks on people, and that's kind of the thing. He's never doing anything that is, like, directly horrific to the game, you know? He's just bothering high-value targets, and that's, like, a pretty normal thing. Quote, they know how to patch it, he told me. I wouldn't be surprised that Respawn knew how to patch it. It's always, it's something that a lot of people don't realize. Just because you know how to patch something out, doesn't mean you can easily it means that there's a cost associated with that there's time associated with that there's infrastructure that has to be managed there's employees that have to be managed and you have a you don't have a 24 7 team either so just because you can doesn't mean it's insane it's not insanely painful to do so it may take a while right the possibility versus you know how long does this take in an interview with TechCrunch, the hacker destroyed 2009 took credit for the hacks, saying that he did it just for fun, yep, and with the goal of forcing Apex Legends developers to fix the vulnerability he exploited. That's pretty common. So if you, you'll find this happens a lot throughout the hacking like community, is if you find a bug, sometimes people will report it and nothing gets done because it just go, you know, it's a big company shit gets missed and so they take it nice. upon themselves to make it worse or they just exploit it because they want it fixed and they think it's funny to do so at the same time neither of those things Can is appropriate I... don't exploit it you know I, I think it's i think it's a very common thing instead of games because games are so public and so like kind of on the front like nope i'm gonna be real with you there's very few times in the world people would go like i'm gonna hack the government for the fun right you know like they're right. but they're gonna be like i'm gonna hack this video game for the fun I'm going to hack World of Warcraft. I'm going to bring the servers down. I'm going to go hack Apex Legends. That's a very, very common thing on this side of the house is I'm just going to do it for the fun. So yeah, I think those are two very different worlds with that is the game side. This happens constantly. It's a very, very normal thing. It's happened you know, even over my career hundreds of times. The hacks sent the Apex Legends community into a frenzy. Countless streamers in the incidents. Some players suggesting Apex Legends is not safe to play. Yeah, anytime something like this happens, immediate gut reaction is like, let's stay away from that for 24 to 48 hours till we can figure out what's going on. You know, normal thing. The part where it became inappropriate to me was, it's remote code execution, everybody. Brah! You know, that. Yeah. that's jumping the gun. 
I think it's really bad. I also didn't like the amount of negativity towards the developers. That made no sense to me. So that's why I started speaking out and started looking into this because I'm like, the general public doesn't understand how difficult it is to be on the security side of stuff, especially not in such a public position in games, right? Because you're always being viewed. You're always being judged by a community of, of thousands or millions of players. And anything that goes wrong with the game, they immediately jump to, you're an idiot. I could do it better. You don't know what you're talking about. Every time, every single time, that's the first jump from the community. And part of me streaming game development is trying to fix that. And fixing that, the only way you can do it is by communicating, being like, here's how this stuff works. Now you have a little more perspective and maybe maybe it shifts in the other direction. And what I've seen, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, is the talks that we've had so far have shifted the player base's opinion of the developers. We've seen dramatic changes in just like positivity on forums and lots of people speaking out saying like, thank you for doing this. Thank you for communicating. Thank you for trying, right? It shifted that in the other direction, which is it just it just took you know, streamers saying, hey, this is how it works, right? So I'm definitely going to keep doing that in the future if I keep seeing this kind of stuff until, you know, we can stamp it out. Because like a lot of the times devs just can't do anything. They can't say a word to you. They can't tell you what's going on. They can't tell you that the hacks are happening. They can't tell you how the hacks are happening because there's an investigation happening, you know, and that's, it's just their hands are tied. Quote, the hacks never went outside the game. Now, that's an interesting one, because that goes back to what I was saying before, right? If they had client control access to that player and the graphic that they showed up on screen, it could have been a fake. Like I was saying, it's a visual, visual fake, right? So if he's telling if he's telling the truth, then the guy's computer was never compromised. Technically, what was being shown was a visual, right? Just a visual menu not real not a program running on his computer something visual in the game which what funnier thing would you do than do that right 100 percent. then who was connected to hal's pc that ip address was irrelevant it looks like hal's home network is misconfigured slightly and it's allowing outside of his network traffic to ping him and that was a scanner machine we actually marked that out it's already done yeah the aimbot was real that is correct which means they had control over something on the machine and that's the part that is interesting in this the visual thing i could see that being possible the aimbot the aimbot's more interesting. They know how to patch it without anyone reporting them, he said. You know what I'm wondering? The more that I look at this, the more that I'm wondering if it's if it's QA tools being activated on the client. Ooh. The more the more that I'm wondering is that because aimbot, things like that, uh, spawning in bots, doing all that kind of stuff, those are a lot of quality assurance style tools. It doesn't mean that they are. It doesn't mean it is. Right. But I'm wondering if that's something you can do from the server side to flag an account to be able to run those. And he's got some kind of an exploit to do that. And then he's running those things on the client. That's the only thing I can think of at that point. It's, there's so many different ways to do this that like that is an option now. Right. Let's see. He did during the tournament. Destroyed 2009 said he went viral, but not many people would have used an exploit like that in an absolutely innocent way for players. Just imagine if it wasn't a joke and we didn't put any memes in the cheat. I'm pretty sure you can ruin someone's career if they can cheat pop up on a tournament. That's completely correct. I actually talked to Imperial Hal about that specifically, which is if they would have popped that up in the middle of the game and they would have shown the cheat and they didn't put any jokes in it, they didn't put the thing about Putin in there. They didn't put like the TSM halal and they didn't put any of that joke. His career would be over. His career would be 100% over. He'd never be able to prove that that wasn't him activating cheating tools and he'd be fired today. Basically, as a streamer, as a pro player, as a content creator, be over and no one would ever believe him. End so, of career. yeah, end of career. So Destroyer 2009 is completely correct about this. That that statement is absolutely true. And I, I find that to be very interesting. Defending his actions in an attempt to show that he never had malicious intentions. He definitely had malicious intentions, just not malicious that far. This is already malicious. It's 100% malicious. To not see that is, is kind of a disconnect from reality for me, honestly. This is malicious intent, 100%, to do these things, but not that far. He could have gone yeah. farther is really all it is. Yeah. The the biggest thing for me is any anyone who's in any position, no matter who it is, bad guy, good guy, somebody who's doing heinous things, someone who's doing murders, anything like that, you have to do a little bit of behavioral analysis and see this. Those types of statements show me that he has he has an internal justification for doing that because he doesn't feel that it's malicious. Because he doesn't feel it's malicious. He feels that this is jokes. This is fine. This is okay. And he doesn't care about any of the damage that's being done there because it's like, oh, it's just a game. It's silly. It doesn't matter. So there is still a, a level of he has justified his actions as being fine, right? So that's a little little bit of behavioral analysis there. And this gives you a limit, a general understanding for what he thinks is justified, what he thinks is malicious, what he thinks is normal. So it would go this far and likely not farther, right? Unless unless pushed or unless he's like backed into a corner or some shit, you know, because you never know what someone's going to do under those positions. Destroyer 2009 said that the window is a part of a real cheat software, but not one that is public and whose menu was slightly modified for the hacks on Sunday. The hacker also said he targeted those specific players who go by uh, Geburton. It's Jen Burton, isn't it? Not G. Burton? Yeah, there's a missing an N, you're right. Yeah, Jen Burton and Imperial Hall, because they're just nice guys. It, 
Jen Burton and Imperial Hall have like some of the highest viewerships of all those guys in those games in those areas. So like, what a coincidence! <laughs> yeah, that, that's I I don't believe him here. I 100 percent don't believe the statement of like, oh, they're just nice guys. No, shut yeah, up. They're nice guys, it. and they have the most eyeballs on them. <laughs> yeah, they, you did it to the people that are the most visible at the time they were most visible. Like, stop it. Stop being a little. Uh, stop being bullshit about that. There's no reason for that. Right. Yeah, it's clout. That's 100% clout chasing to me. Free attention and views for them. He added, no, it's not. Shut up. Like, this is this is about that that whole justification, right? He's found internal justification for the actions. Oh, I'm improving their viewership. It's not bad. You know, it's it's not bad. I'm improving their viewership. Like, shut up. This is, this is delusion 100%. He's deluding himself into thinking that what he's doing is justified and correct because no one wants to be the bad guy. Get it. 100% get it. On Tuesday, Respawn, the studio that develops Apex Legends, posted a statement on X, formerly Twitter. God, X, formerly Twitter, every time. Right. And this was the one. They said an update from Play Apex team, right? They said on Sunday, a few professional Apex Legends player accounts were hacked during an ALGS event. Game and player security are our highest priorities, which is why we pause the competition to address the issue immediately. Our teams have deployed the first of a layered series of updates to protect the Apex Legends player community and create a secure experience for everyone, which means they put in the first step for this. And the general response was quite good. So the community's perception of this is de definitely positive. It means that they're going in the right direction. They're doing what they need to. And with the amount of communication we've done and amount of communication that Respawn is doing, it's great. And also some of the devs have reached out to me and they thanked me for talking about this because their team has been absorbing a shitload of hate up until we started talking about this. And that tide has turned. People are reaching out to them, giving them positive vibes. And it means a lot to them. You have to remember, this is a job. They are doing a job. Imagine going to work and people tell you that you don't deserve to have a job every day that you're at work for hours a day, like 10 hours a day. And they're just like, you suck and while your work is on fire. While it's like the worst possible time at work as well. And you just have the public doing that shit. It's, it's a mess, dude. And I, think, I think sometimes when players are mad, when we're angry as players, we immediately jump to... I have to take this out on someone, so I'm going to take it out on the devs. Devs are dumb, right? And it's, they're doing a job, dude. It's it's work. You go to, imagine you go to work eight hours a day and people are like, I hate you. I was like, thanks, man. That's great. This is a really, I missed this. Details until everything is fully patched and everything goes back to normal. So he's going to release the details, which is good. That's a good thing, actually. Um, I think that is that is good. It has nothing to do with the server, and I've never touched anything outside of the Apex process. Out of the Apex process, I st the employee angle is the thing at this point. Apex hacking mm -hmm. global series, but destroyed 2009 at random. That was one of the things I brought up yesterday was like the possibility of an employee account being compromised, especially because you have you have that possibility and then you have the layoffs right afterwards. So there could be leftover accounts that like no one's paying attention to, you know? So yeah, you see this? No viruses will be uploaded for usual players and streamers. It doesn't say employees. Mm -hmm. And that's another piece of that. Gurn actually just brought that up to me and he's completely correct. I've, I've wondered the whole time if he has access to an employee account of some kind that would give him access to the servers. Now remember, speculation, this is another route. Anytime we bring up something like this, it is a route of possibility, not a route of is. The way that we do this is when you are doing an investigation, you bring everything that is possible onto the table. Every single piece that is possible. And then you go through those and he goes, now let's test it. Was this actually possible? No. The IP thing doesn't matter. We, we marked that one gone right? Let's say, you know, injecting things into the visuals of the client. This is possible. So let's do more investigation until it's not possible. You're excluding all of the options that look potentially real, right? And that's why we, we bring these things are like, that could be possible. It could be possible that they have access to an employee account that gives them access to the commands that we required to attach all the bots and everything else that goes along with it. So that's that's a potential, not a, not a fact. And I, I find the biggest problem is a lot of people are parroting online and they take little sections of what I'm talking about and they say, this is exactly it. He's a big, you know, security brain, you know? And it's like, dude, no, this is an investigation. How to problem solve one piece at a time. Exactly. Yeah. It's also You're important to before, like right? any, of, any of the language that you see here too, we, we can't yeah. believe that at its face, number one. True. It's the attacker. Number two, it is likely translated. The attacker in many cases has, has uh, communicated in Cyrillic. So we've seen this here. Um, claims he's from Belarus, speaks in Russian, basic stuff, right? So it may not be a good translation when he says Apex process, right? That's totally it could fair. It could mean yeah. the client. It could absolutely mean the game client like you were talking about. So yeah, that, that could be it as well, which is interesting. It is likely that the only way we'll ever know the full details of this vulnerability is from the actual hacker because yeah, a company can't yep. do that like the companies generally won't do that if the hacker wants to release it then he will if he doesn't we likely will never know unless we can replicate it which we won't be able to after respawn fixes it so like that's something that i always feel about they might do like a post-mortem maybe but i i have doubts about a company releasing that fully just knowing because i've worked in AAA 
how companies are basically in a chokehold from what is legally allowed their to do. You know, their hands yeah. are completely tied. Despite the attention that hacks caused, Destroyer 2009 said that players shouldn't worry about it because he doubts others will figure out the vulnerability he used and how to exploit it before he gets bashed. I, I know that's a little bit of ego from the attacker, oh, but I yeah. agree with it. And the reason why I agree with it, he's worked on this for four years. He's talked about it very often. He's very proud of the fact that he's been digging into this game specifically for four years. But I think that has a time limit on it. I think it does. And I think the more that people dig, the more that people are interested in this, you've got one dude that's very dedicated at wanting to do this for four years and find all these different exploits. Going forward, you're going to have a lot of people that are like, I'm kind of interested in that, and they may find similar or the same methods, right? So I think that's got a time limit on it now, based on the I amount agree. of exposure this has. Yeah, because this this comes down to that specific thing with his morality compass, like what his yeah. general drive is. He sees this as jokes. He sees anything beyond this as being malicious. This is likely because of that moral compass, legitimately, and it's likely because he doesn't want anyone else to replicate what he's doing in a way that is more malicious than he would be comfortable with. If that makes sense. It's just whatever his level of comfort is in terms of like how malicious it goes. Like this is malicious, but it's not malicious to me. So it's not malicious. But that guy did something malicious that's more than I would be allowing. And he used my work and now it's personal, right? That's kind of a thing. The, the one thing I'm really interested in this too is if you look at all of this, I really don't want to go into details. Destroyer 2009. What about random? Who the hell is that? I have no idea who that is. And if you search them online, there's not really anything there. Maybe it was just a friend that helped him on that one part of the project. Maybe it was a, a friend that helped him do the graphic for like displaying that on the screen. They, we have no idea. We have no clue. Whoever it is, an accomplice of some kind, but I that is such a that's such a generic handle, frankly. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like have have you actually looked into Destroyer 2009? In 2009, a movie called Destroyer came out, and the description of the movie is a man navigates through a future of overwhelming security. If that's not related, I'll I'll eat a hat. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so hey, cool name, cool handle. Fact. Gonna be real, yeah. if that's not actually why he has his handle, then cool coincidence. But if it is why he has his handle, I get it. I understand. Fun handle, right? But the other guy's, his name is just random. Eh. Like, so there's no, there's no anything on that handle. There's no history of that handle. It also makes it harder to search, which is the thing. Right. So <laughs> Healthy and in, in chat just said, Random did Apex hacking software before, so that's probably why I wouldn't know about him. That was up for buying as a monthly payment. So he had a subscription service hack. He did he never interfered with streamers or players in game himself so far. So this is kind of him, you know, teaming up with that. If that is the same person, mm -hmm. if Destroyer is the same person as you know, it's it if they're if they actually is the same random, right? Then yeah, it would make sense.